Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of Eight. And today I'm playing Jail Management Simulation Prison Architect. The game has a couple of game modes. It has a campaign which kind of follows a story and serves as an extended tutorial. It also has a new addition to the game which is an escape mode where you can actually download other people's prisons from Steam Workshop and then try to break out uh, by taking one of the characters on. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a new prison. I actually uh, progressed through the campaign uh, on my other save, which got uh, destroyed when my computer died. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new prison here, uh, which is the sandbox mode. First thing you need to do is pick your warden. I'm going to pick the guy that does uh, uh, less trouble for your people. And then you all have these uh, different options you can choose from, the size of the layout and all these things here. So I'm just going to kind of choose the default settings right there. Uh, and here we go. So I'm going to pause it here. Uh, basically, you get a day, 24 hours, to kind of set up your prison. Um, and the way you do that is by placing uh, where the foundations are for the buildings, uh, different materials for walls, the room types, objects in the rooms that are required, uh, and then your utilities, which are water and power, uh, and then add staff so they can run it. Uh, so, first thing we need to do is, uh, on this little reports tab, is to get the basic detention center grant, because you don't have enough money uh, otherwise if you don't accept that. And then after that one, I'll do the administration center. Uh, you get a pretty good amount of uh, feedback over here. It has all your staff and prisoners on there, uh, budget items, uh, different needs when you have the psychologist, and uh, your daily regime for your uh, people when uh, I get the warden in there. Uh, so let's kind of go by where the storage and delivery and the garbage areas are going to be. There are some planning options in here. Um, the interface is kind of uh, not as great as I would like it to be. I do like the ability to plan out what you're going to build before you actually build it, but there's no way of putting text labels on things. So when you plan out all these buildings, sometimes you forget what each building is going to be uh, as you build it, because you can't really designate rooms until the foundation is done, so you have all these foundations everywhere, and then you tend to forget um, what's what. So we're going to do this as our little front gate right here. So we're going to put a large jail door there and press R to rotate it. And then I'm going to build my offices. So each office needs to be at least 4x4. Four so that's kind of what I'm going to do here. So in order to have a 4x4 four four room, you need to make this 6x6. Six six, so that'll leave 4x4 four four open uh, in between the walls. So that's a little bit too big there. And my prison will not be as good as some people's are, but that's okay. So that'll be good for that first building there. Uh, I will have a building for the power and the water, and a building for storage. And then I need to get my holding cell and shower and a kitchen. Let's be like that. And then a canteen to eat in. And then I'll build a yard kind of over in this area here, I think. That'll be the yard. All right. And then I'll put my s fence around here and then. Uh, and go from there, I guess. And again, I'm going to figure out which building is which. Because <laughs> you can't put any text labels on there. And the little objects things just put like a box there. Uh, so, alright, well, let's get going with these foundations. Uh, so, we'll make the offices out of brick. And then we'll make all the prisoner stuff out of concrete. Doesn't really matter, it's no cost difference or anything. And then eventually you'll want to build cells, but you don't need it yet. Uh, you can wait for some of the money to come in. You don't really have enough money to do it uh, to begin with. And then basically I'm just going to wait until they uh, get all these down before I put in walls and everything. I do need to put some entrances in here. So let's do staff door, staff door, staff door, and then staff door, staff door, Jail door, jail door, and jail door. And then we'll just kind of wait uh, for them to do all the jobs. And you can actually see what all the jobs are over here. 
uh, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Take a look at all that stuff. It's a very detailed simulation. Um, that's for sure. Uh, so what I should probably do is actually hire some more workmen. Uh, and then we'll kind of accelerate time on the get to work on this stuff. You can see I'm already down to $7,000. And I haven't even really placed any objects yet. So it's a very tenuous balance when you're starting out. And you have time crunch too, because you only have one day before your first prisoners arrive. You really need to have everything up uh, before they get here. So we'll just kind of wait for all this stuff to pop in. There's a bunch of other rooms you can do. Uh, solitary confinement, uh, security buildings, workshops, so you can like export stuff, infirmaries, kennels for dogs, uh, parole uh, buildings, library, classrooms, all sorts of stuff. Chapel. Uh, you can have an execution chamber. Uh, so lots of different things and then all those rooms have specific objects uh, that you can put in uh, in each one okay we're starting to get going here all right so let's do okay let's pause everything pretty much finished about the same time all right so I want eh, staff doors on here for the offices I'll put some walls in brick wall okay, there's that this room is going to be storage bloop uh, this room is going to be for my power power station there water pump here and I'll order a capacitor as well Okay, this is my holding cell. There you are. And let me just put in one of these offices. And actually, I'll also do my common room now. This is going to be the kitchen. And this is the canteen, and that's the shower. So we'll wait for those to go. Uh, now you can see there's these little exclamation points to tell you what you need in each room. So we'll queue those up here in a second. So there's a shower. Here's the yard. And the kitchen. And then this one's kind of almost done for the canteen. And we'll start putting in some of these objects here while it's going. So we need an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. So chair, office desk. I like how it highlights the things that you need. So that office is done. Shower needs shower heads. And some drains so we don't flood everything. Holding cell needs toilets and benches. Lots of toilets. I'll probably regret that because I'm gonna have to run my uh, <laughs> my water all around there. Kitchen needs cookers, fridges, and sinks. I'll do two of each. Sure, that's done. That's okay. The power's going in. This, oh, yeah, that is the canteen. There you go. And that needs serving table. Okay, power's up. Serving tables, tables, and benches. It's easier to put the benches in first. Tables. It's probably overkill, but... Alright, I don't need to worry about the utilities. i run this power. And just kind of run it all up and around. 
And I'm almost out of money. <laughs> yep. Alright, well let's open that. Let's do that other grant here. Alright, I'll give me some more money. Alright. So, now we're just going to have to wait for all this stuff to get built. Just take time. Oh yeah, I was going to do the uh, common room. Oh yeah, I did the common room. What's the common room need? I don't know. Doesn't say. Just need to start doing this power stuff. I know where the water needs to go at least. I'm going to need it over here at the sinks too. guys only got 13 hours left let's go It's a direct connection, don't I? Yeah, I'm there. Sort of. Oh yeah, I didn't connect that up. Guess the shower needs power. It's always stressful to try to... Ugh, this stupid nonsense again. This happened to me before where it gets bugged when they don't install it all the way or something. It doesn't say it's enclosed even though it is. Oh yeah. Well, I gotta build my fence too. Kinda need that in a jail. You guys got six hours. Let's go. I don't know why my holding cells are not enclosed. Yeah, crap. Need another capacitor. All right, what else is not hooked up? Those things. Well, they're going and building the fence. <laughs> Cutting it really, really close. This is annoying me. Like, what am I missing? I don't know. Hire guys here in a second. Considering everyone's going to be here in two hours. It's two guards, two cooks, and that's basically all I can afford. <laughs> and you guys aren't going to be ready in time, are you? So close. Except for this thing. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you guys are locked out. <sighs> Can't build another holding cell. Alright, yeah, I can sack some of these guys now. I don't need all these workers. And they're not going to take them anywhere because it says it's not valid. So that's cool. Yeah, what am I missing? It's surrounded by doors and all s on walls on all sides. I don't get it. Let's try it again. There you, okay, yeah, sure. Because that makes sense. I need more guards, though. Gotta get these prisoners back their room. Oh, I can hire my warden. So that's good. That means I can adjust their uh, daily regime if I freely want to. So it's pretty interesting you can set up their daily schedule. Uh, there are unlocks. You basically just unlock with straight up cash uh, that give you more stuff. Uh, Basically, you build an office and spend money on it, and then you're good. So, and then you get, uh, you know, different prisoners and stuff. You have to put in solitary, or they become violent. You have to deal with those problems, and then build cells uh, as well. Let me see what a cell cell has to be two by three. So that means five by. Four. Yep, five by four. Kind of like that. And that one's messed up. So that's what cells are. And then they'll bring them into the cells once you designate the cells as. Same thing here. Ah, uh, look at that. How nicely that lines up. All right, perfect. All right, let's do a foundation. do jail doors here. I'll go get to work on that. You have to have little guards that'll unlock the doors and let them go to where they need to go. They're going to go E right now. Um, eventually, once you get deployment open, you can actually designate parts of your jail for certain guards. Okay, that's done. All right, so let's just let's just queue this all up here. Yeah, no, not there. Then we'll do concrete walls. Let me just draw all that out. That's interesting that I went against the other building. I guess that makes sense. Alright, 
That should be good there. Actually, let me stuck this open so they can. AI is usually pretty good on its own about um, going there. Keep an eye on those guys. Uh, patrolling around and stuff. It gets better when you once you can deploy. Gosh, I have no cash now. <laughs> so, but these will eventually be cells. Each cell has to have a uh, bed and a toilet in it, which is basically all you can really fit in this two by three. And I have no money. So, um, and that's basically it. You know, basically you scale up your prison and add uh, more buildings to it. You can have a uh, morgue, infirmary, security, all these things. Um, you know, which works better when you have a bigger one than a, this is a small. It can scale up pretty large. Um, and there you go. Really my main complaint about the game is the interface. I really don't like um, the planning mode that there's no text to kind of figure out, um, you know, label which room is which before you put the uh, you know, designate the room in when you place the foundation. Uh, and it also can get a little confusing about, uh, you know, what's been built and what hasn't been built because the thing, the shadows sometimes don't line up. Uh, so really it's just a basic usability thing um, as my issues with the game. It is a very detailed simulation and I think people who like this style of game where you, you know, you run something, uh, I think th uh, Prison Architect lends itself really well to that uh, sort of thing. So, uh, if you're into that simulation, then it's something that I would uh, definitely recommend. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.